Welcome, you're at Reach Review Time with Imperial, and today's review will be the Day of the Dead episode 3. Let's get into it. So this is um, another good uh, episode. This one wasn't as um, like comedic as the other ones. A little bit more seriousness going on. So you still have, uh, after their last episode, you have the mayor and um, Mayor Bowman. And she pretty much, uh, after her husband, uh, Trey, accidentally shot the man. The man disappeared. They put him in a um, room. Of course, now he has ate some people. They've discovered that he ate some people. And like I said, these zombies are, they're not fast zombies, but they're strong zombies. So they're able to eat people and just tear their limbs off, just like super, you know, human strength or whatever. So... Um, the whole episode is just them, the old folks home where they're at. And you find out that Luke, the son of Paula and Trey is not really, uh, Trey's kid. It's the pop's kid at the old folks home. So he was pretty much, um, you're going to, it's going to be some backstory that's going to happen with that. The assistant, she gets bit by the main dude that um, Trey killed accidentally while he was looking with him, looking for the zombie. He pretty much uh, disappeared and popped up and killed the assistant from behind. And what she did was she took The mayor, the mayor had dropped her gun at one point. She took the um, clip out of the gun without the bullets. So when the, zon- the ironic thing, she was trying to tell um, Trey to let her get killed and then they could be together. And he pretty much was like, no, that's the mother of my child. But she already knew at that point that he really wasn't. And she didn't say anything. And so she thought he was going to run and go tell, tell his wife that they had an affair. And... He wasn't. He was just going to approach your wife and give her the clip. But by the time the assistant got there, the zombie popped out and pretty much just threw her on the ground and just bit her in the neck. Meanwhile, um, he Trey started to cr- um, cry over her, passing away. So then you had back at the lab, the detective McDermott, which is Cam's father, they, the uh, clerogenics um, doctor, took and put him in a room, and so she went down. She was the examining his finger that got built off, and the finger was moving on its own. So that was freaky to her. So she went back to the site where he was bitten at. At the zombie, she down there with a soldier, and of course the zombie wakes up and kills the soldier, and that's what ended with her. And you find out that the detective McDermott is locked in a room somewhere at a Cleargenics lab. Meanwhile, the doctor from Cleargenics had told the manager at the construction site to get rid of. His worker who originally called the cops. And he pretty much uh, was after Sarah. And Sarah was on a run. Her car, car to flat. So she was wandering off in the woods. And he was chasing her. And then you find that, uh, of course, she is ex-military. So she had a rope uh, that ended up. That he couldn't see that while he was chasing her and it ended up um, chopping off his head, but it didn't. So she dis- she dipped on him. And he pretty much told her, you need to get rid of, disappear. You don't know who you're dealing with and uh, hopefully you'll get your life. But then it shows her make it back to her car and inside of her trunk, she had a gun. So it had, she had that look like now, instead of being a hunted, she's going to, uh, instead of being a prey, and a hunted, she's gonna be the hunter. So that's how that ended with them. You had Luke and his friend at the in the woods still trying to carry this darn keg. The keg went in the water, his friend went out 
in the water and grab the keg. And you, at the end of the last episode, you see the zombie pop out of the water. And, of course, the zombie, by that time, got out the water and ventured off. The friend said he heard music, so he, he dipped off. And Luke would just sit there reminiscing on how him and Cam used to be best friends. And the episode pretty much ended with him seeing a zombie. We all know that he lives because the episode, the season one, I mean, episode one, episode started off with, um, episode one started off with Cam and Luke together running from zombies. So also what happened was you, the old lady that the doctor pretty much told that, you know, about his troubles with his wife and that she only has six months to live. So, um, Dr. J, he pretty much, when he was running from the zombie, he ran out in front of the car of Cam and Lauren and they picked him off off the road and pretty much said he needs to get to, Lauren needs to get to the hospital for her arm. So Lauren, you find out Lauren and Jay has a history. You don't know what history yet. And of course, she doesn't want to go to the hospital. So they elect to go to the old folks' home. And when they go to the old folks' home, they get patched up. When he goes into the room where he patching Lauren up, she don't want any drugs. And so they see the um, little old lady sitting there on oxygen tank. And she, he's like, well, what you doing on the oxygen tank? You know, you wasn't on oxygen before. And basically she admitted that she still smokes cigarettes. And when she smokes the cigarettes, she needs the oxygen tank, oxygen tank to get back. So now, the, of course, the, by now, the old folks' home is breaking out with um, zombies everywhere. So Lauren and Cam want to leave, but then they thought of, you know, the old folks at the home that they got to pretty much try to save some people. So they got an idea to lure the zombies into a specific room and save the people. But in the process of doing that, they have an exit back door exit and so they want to get him in his room and then the last zombie that got in the room his arm was stuck so the door didn't close so when they pretty much try to pull everybody out the old lady forced her way to remain in the room and pretty much she want to sacrifice her life now the only thing is she had her oxygen tank she had a lighter so she want to blow up the zombies but if you try to protect the, the original cause was to protect the other old people in the facility you're gonna blow them up too so you know they got out back and uh she ended up blowing herself up and the zombies out and uh she she had a little uh a little line you know comedic line or whatever to to end her life but that was pretty much it it was i don't want to say it was a filler episode it just was more serious. It wasn't as um, comedic as the other ones. Just getting in more uh, detail and more character development. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Till next time.